and mm. we serve it to pork pillars for the coconut leaves. Mm -hmm. We make them standing like this, pretty high, so you get some air coming through while you're taking a shower. It's pretty nice. It's very hot in this country, and at the same time, no one can see you showering. And what happened with the water then? You have some ditches around you. Yeah, we we just made up the idea that we could connect all the water sources from doing the dishes, uh, from showering, and also from the toilet. I mean, mm. the, the yellow water. Mm -hmm. uh, and all runs together and uh, runs then out in a small forest garden. Got something in here, some weird animal. Yeah, really, remove it. The <laughs> tree shower has an old cooking pot that was a little bit cracked, hanging. And the floor, that's an old concrete wall we moved. We made small holes in it with a knife. So by putting water in, like two buckets like that, is enough for washing the whole body with soap. That's gonna be enough. The bigger tree is here. It's a mango tree that's um, in the shower and the cashew tree. Now it's almost 10 o'clock and the sun starts to turn and in the middle of the day it will come from here and then a little bit afternoon shadow again. We put in black pepper that will climb up in a cashew tree. Another black pepper that can grow up in a mango, maybe covering the, the water barrel a little bit. And the big tree here I'm not sure of its name, but it's a nitrogen fixator anyway, which can give a little bit more nitrogen to the system. We found here that plants growing a little bit in shadow makes it much better, you know. Especially this year, there's been no rainy season here in Sri Lanka. It should have rained already a lot, but it just didn't happen. So now everything is very, very dry. So the pineapples where we planted over there, they were growing in, in the vegetable garden. It was way too dry. But if you look over here, under another cashew nut tree, you find a very green pineapple looking like this. So I think that's a good spot for that one. And because of climate change and things being so dry here, I think it's really good to start focusing on permaculture methods and forest gardening. Since those crops are much more drought resistant and climate change resistant and all these kind of things. <laughs> 